March 1993. The aviation course had just started. I started one year after the program commenced. From day one, I wanted to be involved in developing and delivering the best aviation program in Australia. The overall thing that I've very much enjoyed is the interaction with the students, both their time here at Swinburne and, and when they go out for their um, and develop their own careers. And there are now senior people in the industry that I taught over 20 years ago. I have a professional relationship with and um, you know, hopefully I haven't messed them up too much. To learn to fly has always been expensive. And when I started here, people would either have parents that could afford it or they're working, you know, 70 hours a week and trying to do a degree and learn to fly, which is just not manageable. About 10 years ago, we and other universities managed to construct a system in which students could get fee help. And that worked quite well until a recent proposed changes. In brief, what that meant was all our students were then going to be nearly $30,000 short. I'm very much a believer in students coming into programs and being successful in programs based on merit, not on their ability to have a parent that can mortgage their house. I worked very hard with Chris Hennessy on working and lobbying industry to how we're going to work and lobby within government. It took us 10 months. Finally, in April, the Vice-Chancellor received notification from the Education Minister that the cap was going to be raised to $150,000. From a professional point of view, it was, was very satisfying.